Okay, with the gold card still in the computer, you're going to go back to our site, click on the SAP IMG.zip file, and download it to your computer. Okay, once the SAP IMG uh, zip file downloads, we're going to copy it over to our gold card, which should still be in our computer. And let it do that. Okay, once the SAP IMG file saves to your gold card, um, do not rename it, just leave it exactly like that. And then we're going to close out the gold card and remove it from the computer. We're going to put our original memory card back into the phone, not the gold card. We still have the gold card separate in its little SD adapter. Um, then we're going to go menu, settings, uh, SD card and phone storage, unmount, we're going to format it, format, format. Okay. Once it's all done there, it should remount. You'll see the, the megabytes. That's how you know it remounted. We're going to plug it into our computer. Okay, and pull this down. And click mount. Okay, now you're going to go to our site and download the HBoot file. Once we've downloaded the HBoot file, we are going to save it to our normal memory card. And then we're going to rename it to update. And my computer automatically puts the .zip in there for me. Okay, and then we can close that. Okay, once uh, the HBoot file, which we renamed to update.zip, is on the memory card, we can unplug it. And then turn off the phone. Okay, while the phone is off, we're going to take out our normal memory card with the H boot on it, and we're going to put in our gold card. Okay, now that our gold card is in the phone, we're going to turn on the phone by holding down power and volume down. So we get to the H boot screen. And we're going to push the trackball. I should check. You should see a little blue bar scrolling here on the side. Uh, once this blue bar is done, it's going to ask you if you want to update. Uh, you're going to click the trackball to begin the update, and then do not touch this phone until it is complete. Okay, once the update is done, uh, it's going to ask you if you want to reboot the device, just push power to equal no. Then take out the battery and put it back in. This will put the phone in an off state. Uh, then we're going to take out our gold card and replace it with our regular SD card. This is the one that has the update.zip on it, remember? Okay, and then we are going to turn the phone on. Uh, into fast boot mode by holding down power and back. Okay, should say fast boot. We are going to plug the phone in. Should now say fast boot USB. Set it down. Okay, then on the computer, you're going to download Amon Ra's recovery image and you're going to save it to the Android SDK slash tools folder. Uh, remember, your Android SDK folder might not be called Android SDK, it might be called something else. Um, but regardless, in the SDK, in the tools folder, save it in there. Um, once that's done, we're going to open the command prompt, get into the Android SDK tools folder again, and we're going to type fast boot devices, just to make sure that our computer can see it. As long as you have a serial number, it means your computer is seeing the phone properly. Now we're going to type fast boot Space boot recovery hyphen R A B one point two point zero H dot IMG and hit enter. I should say it's downloading it and including. And then your phone will actually boot into recovery mode. Okay, now the phone should be in recovery mode like this. We're going to scroll down to apply SD card update.zip and push the trackball. Uh, 
Press green to confirm. It's done updating. We're going to hold down home and back uh, to reboot the phone. Okay, once we reboot the phone, it should take us automatically to the recovery screen. Just take out the battery, put it back in. And then we're going to turn the phone on by holding down power and back to get to fast boot. And it should say 2005. We're going to take out our memory card. Well, we're going to unplug it. And we're going to take out our memory card. This is the one with the update dubs, if I might remember. And we're going to put it into our SD adapter. Keep the phone off. And we're going to put the SD adapter into our computer. Okay, when it pops up on the computer, we're going to delete the update.zip. And we're going to go to our site and download Amon Ra's 32A based image. Okay, now that we've saved uh, Amon Ra's 32A ROM, we are going to save it to our SD card. And once it's done saving, we are going to right click and rename it to update. And then close out the card. Okay, once we close out the card, we're going to take it out of the computer and put it into the My Touch. And we're going to turn on the My Touch by holding down back and power. Take it into fast boot mode. Should say fast boot. And we are going to plug it into the USB. Get okay, in the command prompt, we're going to type again fast boot, boot, recovery, 1.2.0H. And hit enter. And the phone should reboot into recovery. Okay, once the phone reboots into recovery mode, we're going to unplug it from the computer and we're going to click apply SD card update.zip. Okay, once you push the, push the green button to confirm, it should start installing the update. Don't interrupt it while it's doing this and just let it finish. Okay, once the update is complete, click reboot the system now. And let it reboot phone boots up, you can go through the setup process and you have yourself a rooted My Touch. Um, don't load any custom ROMs. You can use the phone as is and just have a rooted My Touch. Um, but if you want to load a custom ROM or you want to load a hero ROM, which I'm sure the majority of you do, um, then go to our next video. Um, do not load anything at this point. There's some stuff you need to do uh, before you can load ROMs. Okay? Alright, enjoy.